Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your words and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. I, I want to continue with the message I shared with you on Wednesday. I see it, as you know, as a very help and a encouraging message to you and me because of what we are going through. There are certain things that you cannot understand because it has been there for quite some time and it is well known to everyone that once you go through this process then for you there's nothing good again. This is why it's important that I share this message with you the message of hope where you see things becoming sour there is no hope you are hopeless Jesus is our hope Jesus is what tell your neighbor say you need the word of God and the touch of God you need the word of God and the touch of God Yes, I need the word of God and the touch of God. One is not completely without the other. If you receive the word or you hear the word, you need the touch of God to completely, I mean, to complete whatever you know you are in need for quite some time. This is a, a story about Jailas. This is the same scripture that I shared with you on Wednesday. It is an instruction that I should come back with the same message. I had another message. But you know, when you are given an assignment by your boss or your superior, there's no way you can say, no, today I want to, uh, to do this. If you are a maid and then you enter the house, yesterday you cooked chicken. Immediately enter the house, your boss will tell you to say, cook the chicken again. Are you going to say, no, madam, even yesterday it was a chicken? Because you are not the owner of the house. You follow the instructions of your master. This is the message I want to share with you. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 8, verse 49. The word of God will never be and uh, you know something you can say this one is used no it is always new always becoming new and new chapter 8 verse 49 while Jesus was still speaking someone came from the house of Jairus the synagogue leader your daughter is dead he said don't bother the teacher anymore. Verse 50. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Don't be afraid. Just believe and you shall be healed. When he arrived at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John, and James. And the child is father and mother. 52. Meanwhile, all the people were wailing and mourning for her. Stop wailing or crying, Jesus said. She is not dead, but asleep. 53. They laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. Remember what I said. According to them, they thought Jesus doesn't understand what is death. For him to, to say, please stop crying, the girl is just sleeping. They laughed at him. 
Because they have been going through death from family to family. And they have buried so many family members. And once they pronounce you dead, that's the end of you. But Jesus entered the house and he said, please stop crying. Why are you crying? The girl is sleeping. If care is not taken, one of the family members can even beat you. To say you are here to mock us. We have lost the daughter and you are telling us that the daughter is sleeping. They can even slap you or beat you. But Jesus knew what he was talking about. Meaning, he knew that I am the life. The life has come back again. His appearance means what? The life has come back again. I want you to notice. Anyone can pay you a visit in, in that critical situation. Anyone can encourage you. Anyone can tell you something. But when Jesus appeared in your life, know for sure that what have been, I mean, what you have lost has come back again. Are you there? Anyone can encourage you to say things will be better. Things will be okay. But when Jesus appeared, he will not even say maybe a word to you. But know for sure that the end has come to this calamity that has been there. Now, let me go back one by one so that we share the, 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 the message of hope. Remember, I said, I need the word and I need the touch of God. Take note, that is our message this morning. Even those who are watching this program, there are certain things, people of God, that you need to remove shame for you to get what you want. If you want to maintain, you know, the respect that you enjoy from the people, and yet... You are crying every night. You are having a sleepless night. Know for sure that you are helping Satan to end your life prematurely. If you allow Jesus to appear in your life, ha, the hand has come to that problem. Praise the Lord. Listen to this. I will still come back to that word. Jesus was still speaking and someone came from Jairus' house. This man happened to be a leader in the synagogue. And if you remember or if you read the Bible, by then those people who used to be workers in the house of God, they are like, you know, civil servants, so to say. This man was a leader. And the man followed him because Jairus went to see Jesus so that he can take Jesus to his home for the issue of the daughter. Before he even, you know, conclude whatever he was, you know, telling Jesus. In fact, he was just there, Jesus was talking. Then the man appeared to say, Childers, your daughter is dead. Your daughter is what? You went to, to the hospital, maybe to get the ambulance and the doctor. And then someone followed you to say, hey, brother, he's dead. Are you going to still wait for the doctor and the ambulance? No. What is next? Crying. Ah, uncontrollable crying. No, before the chawama, kajinga ni nena chia, kubu fina ko. Uye kui sogota wipeke nye. Chailas was stopped to say, your daughter is dead. Stop disturbing the teacher. Jesus overheard that conversation. And he said, Jailas, don't be afraid. Just believe. Your daughter will be what? Healed. Listen to the word he used. He said, just do what? Your daughter will be what? Healed. And this is the, the girl they pronounce that she's dead. And someone is telling you that your daughter will be healed. If it is not the will of God, whoever is there promising you heaven and Jesus is not part of that promise, that is his story. You are just sharing what? But when you see this man they call Jesus appeared in your situation, even if hundreds or millions of people have gone through the same situation, you will not go for that one. Life has come what? Back. 
people where you know burying friends, children, husband, family members. But the appearance of Jesus in the house of Jairus could not allow that girl to be buried. Yes, ungamo nekela ni shina life ya chitashani. Ena nga pita ni shumute ndo wa chitashani wa pita. Ena nga landa ni shifyo vala ndapari mwe afilandulula. Jaila's daughter was completely dead. I know we are calling different messages from doctors, from whoever is, you know, diagnose your, your health, or maybe the problem in the house, marital issue, family issue. What we need is the appearance of Jesus in your family. You agree with me? Let me take you to this word. The reason why I said I need the word and I need the touch. Praise the Lord. He said, do not bother the teacher anymore. But Jesus said, do not be afraid. Just believe. When you believe, you possess the word of God. And after believing what you, you are waiting for now is the hand of Jesus. To give life now to the word which is inside your body already. Praise the Lord. When he arrived, this is 51, at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John, and James. Even when it comes to prayer, people of God, it is not everyone that you can carry when you are praying a very sensitive prayer. There are people that you are supposed to carry People who understand who you are, what you are calling, what you are capable of doing. It is not everyone. This is why he carried, if you read the Bible, Jesus used to carry these people. Not once. Even at the time where, he, you know, a, a Moses appeared, Elijah appeared. Go and read the Bible, you discover that he carried his disciples. Not all of them. He only allowed these three and the father and the mother to enter what? The house. Because the prayer he's going to offer now, it is a prayer of faith. Because faith always demands the impossible to be what? Possible. It is not everyone who can understand that life. This is a lifeless body. And everyone is crying. I'm sure others were busy killing chicken, goats. I don't know how much better I talk about my pachidiro. Kuba lady lelo ba unfu atiabu kamunga ndom. Nishina muipa kalembu shina muipa yankoko. Timunga ndom wa sashani. What are you going to do? You carry chicken home. Praise the Lord. You carry chicken where? Umuntu pa kudia. Pali wobwafia. 52. Meanwhile, all the people were wailing and mourning for her. Jesus said, stop crying. She is not dead, but asleep. Stop crying. When Jesus appeared in your life and told you to say, stop crying, the hand has come to your problem. Take him through his word. Take him through what? His word. It is done for you. They laughed at him. Knowing that she was dead. Through experience, the people of that particular time knew what is death. Once you know you are lifeless, you never come back again. They laughed at him. They said, he doesn't know death. <laughs> this one is dead. He's, de he's, he's saying what? He said, stop crying. Oh, mind him. Continue crying. He, he doesn't understand what? Death. He knew that I am the life. My appearance is to bring back this girl to life. To them, they, they saw him or see him as, you know, one of those uh, people who patronize, uh, you know, funeral houses to encourage people. Not knowing that this is life. Jairus was a leader. 
and he was not ashamed. He was not ashamed to tell Jesus that my daughter is dead or is sick. Looking at the position this man was holding, he, he ran after Jesus. His colleagues, friends followed him to say, stop disturbing this man. I know that there are people who are discouraging you. There are people who are telling you that this cannot work. I want you to know this. The man Jesus doesn't know the word failure. He doesn't know the word death. You know he died to show you that let me die at your place and come back to give you what? Hope. He is life. He is what? Ngabalanda ti business yadi fwa. Isukulu yadi fwa. Tapadi fioka chita. Yesu nga monekela. Nishma indi pia ya monekela. Chionze fi pia ni fia chashani. Fia monekela. Ena nga moneka yesu. Mufile mwashu ati fia nyufia isi. It's a pit that we go to church because it is Sunday. Those who understand the name Jesus, when you go to church, you are going there to receive your miracle. By faith, you are going there to do what? Balanda tirilofwa, tamubomba, tamuakachitenshi, kapela wanchito is there where you are seated. Kapela wanchi is there with you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. They laughed at him. Listen to this now. Verse 53. B now. <clears throat> but, I mean 54. But he took her by the hand and he said, my child, get up. That is the touch I was talking about. Jairus received the word. And Jesus did not end there. He followed him. Do you know that there are certain situations that, the, I mean, man of God can pray for you online. And there are certain situations that you need to follow the man of God or the man of God touch you or you touch the man of God. You get the point. He received the word. But Jesus followed him. You remember there was a man who followed Jesus. He said, my uh, son is very sick. He said, according to your faith, your, your son is what? By the time the man reaching home, the people were there confirmed that it was around this time. Your son, you know, get well. Then he remembered that it was the same time I was talking to Jesus. That is question. Tell anything that Jesus will Uh-uh. Just a word. But for this one, I mean your situation. You need the word and the touch from Jesus. You need what? And the touch from who? There are big, big, big people who are dying inside. You are dying inside your house because you are a big person. You are a big man. You are a big woman. Your situation, yes, you need the word and the touch. Once you receive the word and the touch, remove that shame. Remove that shame. Learn after Jesus and receive the word from him. And once you receive the word, he will touch you. That's the end of your problem. There are people who are inside the house. They are crying every night. My brother, my sister, my uncle, my father. That shame will not solve your problem. The, your shame is helping Satan to continue frustrating your night. Increasing that pain. Learn after Jesus. Receive the word and the touch. That's the end of your problem. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remove that shame and learn after Jesus. Ngami kata mofi eshu ina mi pela kale. Icho mulelele lanishi. When the word is given to you, 
Remember, Joshua was given these words by God Almighty to say, go and, I mean, go around the, the city of Jericho. How many times? Seven times. The seventh one brought the trumpet and Jericho came down. There was no need for a uh, you know, God Almighty to come and touch Jericho. No, he was he, just the word. In that book of Mark 5, verse 41, this is the same message that I, I shared with you again on Wednesday. Jesus gave the word to that small girl. He said, Talita come. What does it mean? Healing. Restoration. Simply means, little girl, stand up. Umuntu nafwa. Just the word Talita come. Umuntu abuka. Your situation. Sometimes you are needing a few words. Or you are needing a finger. Touch. Bam. The word was given to Naman. Go and dip yourself seven times in that liver. Naman said, Look at you. I want to see the prophet. Come on, people of God. I want to see what? Tell the prophet to come out. Let him come and at least put his hands on me. The servant said, no, sir, you will not see the prophet. The prophet said, go and dip yourself in that liver seven times. Then you'll be okay. Then he said, are you telling me that where I came from, there was no good liver more than this one? He said, the prophet said, go and dip yourself. A, a spiritual prayer come with what? Solution. When the word is given to you from God Almighty, it will never go back until your situation your situation word or word and touch that's the end of your problem once you are touched you remember the woman of that the issue of blood you know for 12 years living in shame then she said enough is enough Jesus is passing here I will not be ashamed to touch this man enough is what I need to touch him she ran after Jesus but you know those days Muntunga na kwatai their problem taufule wa anopo bale pepa go and read the bible she said I will not be ashamed anymore because I am dying I have spent all she learned after Jesus. Just a touch. The breathing stopped. Jesus said, eh, Padu wa njikatamu. Abasa mbebe, naimwe. All this crowd you are telling us as who has touched you. He said, yes. Power has gone out of my body. What does it mean? Even when it comes to the word, it is the power to enter your body. It's not just a mere way to say be healed. No. It is not the sound but the power driving the word. No. Power has gone out of my body. No one could see who has touched this man. But Jesus felt that power has left me. Until the woman came back and kneeled down. He said, daughter, your faith has done what? Shame will not bring solution to your problem. If you think you are more respected than your destiny, you are killing yourself. Your destiny is more respected than whoever is respected you. Are you getting me? Your, your destiny is more what? Than what? Whoever is giving you that respect. You die with the respect. It is only Jesus in your life that you need. He is higher than your position. Tell your neighbor that Jesus is higher than your position. Mm. Because even if you are a what, you are what? Kwadi kwa wali pari your position, yali fwanokufwa. E kwa wali kwa naumbi wali pari position, na kwa Jesus yali fwanokufwa. Takwaba. Aba fiheka. Umwa umepisa. Umwa umepisa. Nemfwa ilamutina. Problem wako ata ilamutina. 
ni mwepo mchingili na problem kwa simulo mfwenso ni ukulanda ati mwadiku wata problem problem wako wata ila china yesu e kafye e uso wa mafia he said tali takom very simple just the word tali takom he never fasted for one week to bring back that girl to life he just said tali takom and the girl come back to life what is your problem? Tell me your problem. If your problem is greater than the name Jesus. Because all these things that you see came from the name Jesus. And nothing that can work against him. Yes, ungaenda. Ngangulimu chupo chenu. Ngangulimu business yenu. You will see revival. You will see change. You will see progress. Nendo shishile shiba yesu nga lenda pa muripami yanu Te shipala mineko Shila tina Mune isha pokulo wabana bako alesa mweba loa Pati muke ishwe finde mieba Mune shie pona ngule lue chungulo Pati mushini nkishokati Apa ni yesu tepaku chitashani Because ni life Elo ena nga imini na feidia life ya ripo taipua Te chitashani Mm -mm. That's why this girl came back to life because Jesus appeared simply means life has come back. Ukuboko kwenu komwa kwata. Chonse cho mwaikata chintu chafwa. You need the touch and the word of God. You need the word talita come upon your light hand. If your womb is dead, you need the word talita come. Are you there? Your right hand. Let me see your right hand. Mm -hmm. We share the message. Yes. Yes. Your right hand is getting the unquestionable favor. The unquestionable grace. What has died in your life? What has died in your marriage? What has died in your business? In the name of Jesus, I say, Talita come. I say, Talita come. In the name of Jesus. Your blend through your light hand. Don't worry, don't touch your blend. Just your light hand. Your blend, your home. Mm. I say, Talita come to your life. Talita come to your business. Talita come to your health. Talita come to your career. Talita come to your marriage. Talita come to your employment. Talita come. I say Talita come. I say Talita come to your life. Talita come to your business. Talita come to your career. I need the word and the touch. The word is given to you. I say Talita come. Talita come to your home. Talita come to your marriage. Talita come to your cabin. Talita come to your future. Talita come to your health. Mm. Remember, Jairus was discouraged by his fellow men to say, "Your daughter is dead." They have been telling you that it is not possible. In the name of Jesus, I say, Talita come. Talita come. Talita come. What does it mean? Simply means you are restored. You are restored. You are restored. Jairus was discouraged by his fellow men. Stop bothering the teacher. Come on. This is the reason why we are here. I, you know, I talked about this one. When things are, you know, are progressing, everything is just... Can you fast for one month? No. You need the word and the touch. I said, Talita, come. Talita, come to your business. Talita, come to your family. Talita, come to your company. Talita, come to your marriage. Talita, come to your career. Talita, come to your education. When you go to church, you are going there to meet Jesus. 
not a man like me. These are the things Satan is using to mislead our faith. So that at the end of your journey, you miss heaven. Come on. I said, Talita, come to your business. That spirit of borrowing, I said, Talita, come in the name of Jesus. Talita, come in the name of Jesus. Talita, come in the name of Jesus. That spirit of rejection. I said, Talita, come in the name of Jesus. If it is a family case, I say, Talita, come. Talita, come. Talita, come. Mm. Mm. That untimely death in your family. Every year we are burying our family members. The word is here and the touch is here. Jesus who end that one. I say Tarita come. I say Tarita come. Tarita come. Tarita come. Tarita come. Tarita come. Tarita come. I hope you understand this language. It's written in that book of Mark 5 verse 41. Burying our family members every year should not be a program anymore. When Jesus appeared, he appeared to end that nonsense from Satan. Your right hand. I said, Talita, come in the name of Jesus. I said, Talita, come. Talita, come. Talita, come. Talita, come. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We are asking Jesus to forgive our forefathers. My grandfather. My mother, my father. My grandmother. Whatever problem that has come in my family, through them, we are asking Jesus to forgive us. We are asking Jesus to forgive us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. 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 I say Talita come to your children your marriage your career your business I say Talita come I say Talita come and when Jesus say yes no one can say no I say Talita come I said, Talita, come. In Jesus' name. Let me conclude my message. Let me talk to those who are watching this program. Stop entertaining your shame or your problem. Learn after Jesus. Shame will pay you nothing but distraction. You keep on protecting yourself. No one knows what you are going through, but you are crying every night. Some of you, you made a mistake. Maybe you went to a witch doctor. Whatever you, you know is giving you problem. He's there with you in the house. And no one knows. It is only you who knows what you are going through. Shame will not give you solution. But bring what? Distraction. Learn after Jesus. Are you a leader? Are you a politician? You are a human being. You know your situation. You need the touch and the word of God. Yes, people respect you, but your situation cannot respect you. Which one do you want? The respect or the pain? People fear you, but Satan will not fear you. Each and every time they see you driving or walking, they say, ah, Buana, I'm a Buana, I'm a Buana. Inside your heart, you are saying, I am not a Buana, I am dying. I need help. I said to you, Talita, come. 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 In Jesus' name. Remove that shame and learn after Jesus. Thank you. God bless you.